Today I thought it would be fun to share a thrifted clothing try on for you postpartum. So when I'm filming this, I am about two and a half weeks postpartum after having our third baby and everything I have that I am going to try on and say yay or nay on for you is either thrifted or from our bin store that actually is no longer in existence. So some of these things I did buy before I had Elias, our little boy, and I never did try them on. So I'm gonna try them on for you. I have some summer tops, a few summer dresses, shorts, skirts, and a couple pairs of shoes. So I'm just gonna kinda try some things on and have fun with it while I'm sharing what I have found. And I can always mention the brands for you. I'm not saying that they'll actually be available for real um, department store purchase, but I will do that for you. So let's see what pieces I can put together for my summer wardrobe. And also I wanna mention, I usually like to do a more minimal kind of capsule style wardrobe. Um, so there'll be things here that I'll eliminate and things that I will keep. I don't have a lot from a postpartum. So I have some tank tops and a couple pairs of shorts, but it's time for me to refresh. And so I thought this would be a fun video to share with you. So let's start trying on some clothes and I'm just taking it off my bed as I have laid it out already and get some things tried on. So I'm gonna mention this first top is um, a tank top I found. It is a size medium and I'm usually a medium postpartum, but it's extremely big under the arms. I thought with having a nursing chest it would make sense, but it's just really big, even tucked in. I don't, I don't think it would look quite right. I'm not sure. It's really flowy. Like it feels really good, but I don't know. I love the print too. So we'll see, um, I'll put that in my maybe pile because I'm not 100% sure. I love the bottom, but it's just, it's very boxy, I wanna say. Here is the next top and I really like this one. It's a tad, might be a little bit short. Um, my skirt I'm wearing doesn't particularly match anything I have on, but I really like this one. It's a Ralph Lauren brand tank top. It has a little button in the back that I didn't that I didn't button yet. So I really like this. This one is just a t-shirt, quite wrinkly, but it is um, one I definitely will keep. I like the V-neck tees. Um, the V-neck to me seems more feminine than a scoop neck. It's a baby blue. It actually goes really well with this. Um, Eddie Bauer skirt that I've had for quite some time. And I think this is a keeper. It'd be very nice for outdoor activities, going on hikes, going, working in the garden. So it's definitely gonna be a keeper. Okay, this next t-shirt top is a New Day brand. So like, I think that would have been Target brand. This is probably from the bins. Um, it is scoop neck, kind of low scoop neck, not too bad but it's a crop, like it's a little shorter crop, if you can see that, because I did pair it with these shorts I also found, which tucked in the shorts look fine. They're a little bit tight on the belly because they are, I still have a little bit of the baby pooch because I'm only two and a half weeks postpartum, but I think tucked in it would be fine, but I do have another green shirt so I might eliminate this and give this to a sister or friend because I already have one. Here is the second, it's a little bit darker green shirt. I really like this um, sleeve. I don't know what you call it, like a cap sleeve almost. It is a little bit longer as well. So that is a bonus. It still would look good tucked in with these shorts, with a skirt, with some pants. And I kind of like the flow of this shirt better. So I think this one is the keeper and the other one is going out. This is an Old Navy active wear shirt. And so it's a lot longer. Um, not sure I like it, to be honest. I love the color. It is scoop neck again, but it might work to throw over a pair of leggings for working out when that time comes but I don't wanna do the maybes. I don't mind the texture of it, it's really soft. Um, one thing I'll need to be aware of is I do sweat a lot more now that I'm postpartum again. Um, and the t-shirts always <laughs> seem to get 
um, smelly or stain in the armpits for me so it is nice for me to have extra t-shirts if I wear them out in the garden or out for walks out hiking things like that so uh, this will go in my maybe pile again all right this is a fun summer tank top I found um, in my latest thrift haul actually a lot of these shirts are it is riding up in the armpits a little bit so I'm not sure if that's something I will need to fix but it's a fun tank top um, very bright pink you know great with shorts pants you know these are great summer they're kind of casual shirts that I'm going with first here so um, I think I'm gonna keep it and see how I feel it's probably because I'm bigger chested now than I typically am uh, when I'm not nursing or not pregnant so we'll see how I feel if it gets too tight it'll be redonated or gifted Okay, one more t-shirt for you and it is already a no it is way too tight in the chest and actually in my stomach these shorts like i said are a little tight too but it's just it's tight everywhere this is gonna make my armpits sweat this is everything just feels tight and i feel very confined so this cute pink white striped shirt is headed out the door all right so these shorts are a two button a little bit higher waisted because my belly button's right here um, they fit pretty nicely and I don't feel like they're super short when I wear shorts you know I do like a little bit longer but they're tight enough that it's not flowy that you can see under so I think I'm okay with these shorts uh, they're an improvement from my ones that had big holes and rips in them from being worn so for so long so I think these will be a keeper all right so we're gonna take a look at this skirt next and it is orange and blue. It is really cute and long. It's flowy. Um, it was brand new when I got it from the bins for 50 cents or dollar a day. So I'm quite sure this is gonna stay in my wardrobe for the summer months. So very fun um, skirt to have and it's really nice and long. Just put some biker shorts underneath and it is a good dress up shirt or skirt. Okay, next here are these jeans. They are a very um, ripped jean look. They're the current Elliott brand. I don't know what that is. A skinny jean. They are low rise, so I don't think I will be keeping them because low rise and kids is not a good combination. They look like they fit, honestly, pretty well. Um, I just don't think they're gonna move well, to be honest. <laughs> And like I said, they're low rise. So it's got a couple inch gap between my belly button and this button. And I just don't need anything showing when I bend over, when I squat with my kids. So I think these pants are gonna be gifted. So that's just a bummer. So that's okay. I got other jeans I can wear later. Okay, the next pair are these leggings. I don't often wear leggings, so this is very weird to have leggings on. They fit pretty well. I don't know the brand. They were like 75 cents at a thrift store a while back. They're a dark purple. I don't think they're showing up dark purple for you. Um, they have some fun detailing here. They fit pretty well, to be honest. They're thick. So, you know, for working out, and when I get back into that, I don't think they'll be a bad pair to have. I mean, leggings to me are not meant to be wear in public anyways. So I think they'll be fine. And for 75 cents, I can't go wrong with a pretty nice pair of leggings. And they're high-waisted because there's my belly button and it's over top those. So I think I'm going to keep those to work out in and do some exercising around the house. <laughs> All right, on to this next pair. They are a super lightweight um, linen pair of pants. I really like the feel of them. They're actually a size and a half or two sizes smaller than I typically wear. They're an extra small. So they seem like they are loose enough though. I don't know how tight they're supposed to be around my thighs, but they are like very flowy <laughs> and maybe rather modern for me, but they're kind of fun. You know, I could see myself wearing these around they got pockets on the back. Like I said, they're very lightweight, so it'd be great for a date night in the evenings or something like that. So I think I am going to keep these and wear them this summer for a potential outing 
or date night. Okay, so that is all for tops and bottoms. Now it is time to get to my dresses. I have two dresses I have thrifted that I'm going to share with you here. Okay, not sure how I feel about this. This first one here is another Knox Rose brand dress. It is pocketed. It's super fun colors, but it's not... It's not nursing friendly, that is for sure. And I couldn't wear a bra with it because it's too low. I feel like I'd need to wear a t-shirt under this. Like I just, I don't know. I don't like how that looks. So, but if I put a t-shirt under it, it'd be great. But like I said, it's not nursing friendly at all. And so out in public, if I needed to nurse, it would be a no-go because I hate lifting up dresses all the way. So I think this is not gonna work for me. Okay, here is my second one, and I got this again in my last thrift haul. Um, it is a Time and True dress, so Walmart brand, and it is nursing friendly, which is nice. It's buttoned down. It seems a little low here, but not, I mean, not terrible, um, and not too bad in the back either. And it goes all the way down past my knees, so I really like that. I think this is going to be a keeper. It's pretty flowy. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a different pattern than I would typically have in my closet as well. So I think that's a fun one for me to keep. And it was 50 cents or fill a bag dress. So if I only wear it a couple times, I'm not going to be too upset by that. But I think I'll keep this one and wear it in the garden around outside because I, I don't know. I really like it. And it's got the feminine tie here. So I could tie it a little bit tighter even too if I wanted. So it's it's a nice dress that I think I'm gonna keep for finding out thrifted. One more top is this crew neck. And I, I don't know, it's pretty warm actually. It's kind of fleece lined, but on a cool summer evening around the campfire, um, I think this is a staple to have in a wardrobe. And if you're going out early morning to go gardening, you don't want the bugs on you, things like that. I think you gotta have a nice crew neck. And it's plain. My other one was stained from previous gardening things, so I found this. I think it's like the Gildan brand, so nothing fancy, just a fun little crew neck to have in my wardrobe. Okay, so I'm gonna share two pairs of shoes that I found as well. One is from our bin store, the Shade and Shore brand shoe. And the next is one I found, again, at that le recent um, rummage thrift sale. So they're nice to slip on sandals. One would be a church pair and one would be hop out to the garden, throw my compost away, go up, pull a few weeds, go outside and go for a short stroll because um, they're a Teva brand so they have a lot more cushion on them. So two pairs of shoes that I will be adding to my summer wardrobe as well. So let me show you what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. And of course, I have some other staples in my closet as well that I keep and will have a few more, more neutral t-shirts and some other dressier tank tops to go with skirts and shorts. And then some other dresses that I have as well that I'm sure you've seen me wear through all other videos. But I will show you what I am keeping. So here's what I am keeping. I'm keeping the dress and the skirt. This floral shirt was beautiful. Oh, it's a universal thread. I was thinking it was Ralph Lauren. This green cap sleeve shirt and this tank top for now. We'll see how I end up feeling about the armpits and the tightness with that. Then my pair of shorts I will keep and my crew neck sweatshirt. These two t-shirts, the universal thread v-neck um, baby blue and I did decide to keep the Old Navy active shirt and then the leggings and they are very much showing up not the right color they're like a dark purple and then getting rid of I did decide to get rid of this shirt I just felt too boxy and this green shirt because it was just too short of course this striped one was super tight jeans didn't fit quite right and the Knox rose dress so Redonate or sell. I do sell a lot of my clothes I don't keep or my girls' clothes on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. And this is what I'll keep. So I feel good about these additions to my summer wardrobe. And it's fun that it was all thrifted or at least um, 
like a dollar or less per item. All right, so that is what I have for trying on for you. It was fun to just kind of see it first time for myself as well and for you guys too. Let me know what you think about some of the pieces, if I should have kept some or not, or if you think I should actually get rid of some as well. That'll be okay to hear that news from you too, but I am excited to have some more thrifted pieces in my wardrobe. And I just love shopping thrifted. If you don't thrift or garage sale, I highly, highly recommend it. You can find some really nice pieces to add to your wardrobe for a minimal amount of money. And with this economy, I think secondhand shopping is the way to go. So hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video.